<coughs> what so whatsoever things you say. Now you may not know this, but the things that you say make a huge difference in where your life is going. Um, I saw yesterday a way that um, that God could get me out of me, out of the factory, something I've been wanting for 40 years plus, and. Uh, <laughs> I come home, my honey, she's the biggest critic that I've got that, that I appreciate. And I told her, I said, you know what? I said, look at this, this, and this. I said, this could be, I said, what if, you know, and this is an avenue. I've never really seen too much of this before. <coughs> and it's, it's about money blessing. And the, truthfully, the Lord has told me in my life that we're going to be blessed with money some you know in ministry when we start ministry and but the trick is knowing when to start just like Moses if you step out before or not Moses but uh, Abraham if you step out before your blessing arrives you're gonna land flat on your face and not only that but uh, other things you know I mean there's there's been other people that's done the same thing running ahead of God and I don't know how many sermons I've heard on that. But here I am. I'm I'm prepared. I'm excited about telling my honey this. And I, I told her, I said, look, now don't say nothing to anybody about this. I said, but this could be an avenue because you know I didn't want I didn't want the message getting out and and like messing up what was gonna happen, you know, and, and the Lord he he used this strategy before. He'd go and heal somebody and he'd say and he'd say, but don't tell anybody, because, you know, his time is not yet. I don't know how many times he said, he said that to his mother once. He said, woman, what have I do to do with you? He says, my time is not yet. And so, um, <laughs> we well, we got to make sure that, you know, this is our time. I, I don't know, I had a dream one time that the Lord was asking me, what's taking you so long? You know, in other words, he was saying that when the time does come, that I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to recognize it. You know, but I'm like this, man. I'm looking for every little detail. And in this thing that I was having hope for, and I know the word, the Bible tells us by the words that we speak, Mark chapter 11, we're going to look at that here in just a minute, that you shall have whatsoever you say. <laughs> Literally says it in that fashion. I got to write that down as one of my memory verses too. Mark 11, 23 for those of you who are wondering where it's at. And uh, and I got home I'm like, now nah, honey, I sound like, don't you tell anybody nothing about this, you know, because I just want to keep it secret to them and just in case I mean, don't say anything to nobody. I mean, even the people that it's going to happen with or anything like that. So and she's like, yeah, but now you know this old person she ain't Christian and this and that and this and that and I'm like pretty soon I'm like yeah you're right I got to think about you know you're right. forgot all about forgot all about you know God moving in situations and but she was right you know and you need to listen to your critics you know you need to listen to those people because sometimes they can help you with common sense things you know, but God's a miracle worker and he doesn't, God doesn't use common sense when he does things. He uses godly sense, which is greater than our common sense. The Bible says that he uses those simple things to profound the wise. That's, that's greater than common sense. It's godly sense. Hey Amen. We've got to use our godly sense <laughs> sometimes. That's what it says. Mark 11, 20 says, And in the morning they passed by, and saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. I mean, that tree must have been shriveled, plumbed down to nothing. I mean, it, you know how a tree looks when it's dried up? It's, it doesn't look healthy and full, you know? But even the base of the tree is shrunken in, and, and this is what the Bible said, it dried up from the roots. When yesterday it was full and healthy and full of leaves, and Jesus came there hoping to find some food, and he found none, and you know, we need to start expecting something good from God. Yeah, he, Jesus could have done exactly the opposite, you know. He could have spoke to that tree. And the next day, he says, 
he could have said, when I come tomorrow, be full of fruits. And I guarantee you, man, that tree, it would have lived a year's time overnight. It would have been full of fruit. Okay? Yeah, but it was dried up from the roots because it had nothing. And the Lord was showing his disciples here a lesson. And Peter calling to the remembrance saith unto him, Master, behold the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. Don't look to the natural. Have faith in God. That was the lesson for that day. Don't look to the natural. Don't look to the natural ability. Listen, God can speak the heart of a sinner, cause him to do some strange things that he'll faint over later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He can move things. God is able to move things on our behalf, in our favor. Amen. Um, have faith in God. For verily, or truly, I say unto you, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be thou removed, and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. You know, that's why Jesus, he used to put people out who were of doubt. He'd just put them right out of the room. When he had to do something that was, was by faith, he would show those folks to the door. We need to do that to the devil, man. We need to show the devil the door when it comes to faith, you know? Believing what God is able to do on our behalf. Verse 24 here says, uh, Therefore I say unto you, What things uh, soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye shall receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive. And this is important. This is important. The Lord's been running this stuff through my mind here lately, man. All the people that has offended me over the years, Every one of those, man, God's been bringing back to me, and I, I have to find a way in my heart to forgive those people. See, because that holds a, that puts a stop between you and your blessing. If you don't forgive people, the Bible tells us, well, listen to it right here. It says, uh, when you stand praying, forgive. If you have ought against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. And Jesus cared so much about that subject, he put it in the basic prayer. That it's in the Lord's Prayer, in the basic uh, foundation of our prayer that we should pray, things that we need to pray about every day. That's what the Lord was telling us. And this is how, this is truly the way that we are blessed. You know, let nothing, don't let anything between. If you have something against your brother, man, Find a way to forgive him, even if it's a hard thing. You know, and Jesus said it so much that you'd be rec reconciled to your brother. Then come back and and present your gift before the altar of God. Amen. And it's, it's, see, it's no matter how many, much that you give, people keep saying to these sinners, these Christian uh, preachers on television, give and God will give back. Well, you know, and they leave out that part. You know, seed faith giving, that is not biblical. Seed faith giving is not biblical. We're not just casting a seed into the ground. We're casting faith. They're talking about the seed of money. And God was talking about the seed of faith. According to what Christ is telling us here. Believing that God can bring to pass those things that are not. Even within our heart as though they are. Amen. Believe in your heart. What it says right here. 23. For I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, uh, my, my computer went blank. i gotta, I got to change that so I can stay over up a little longer instead of going dark. <clears throat> whosoever say unto this mountain, be thou removed, cast to the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Alrighty, God bless you. Thank you for joining. We'll see you again next time. Another great message right here across in the middle of ministry.